Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Black Friday, this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Metal number 121, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, but before we get to the cheap paper prize in this box of Cracker Jacks of a podcast, let's find out what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve this week? First off, that was stretching it. It was another It was another food one. Plus, I, I just um, wanted to lament on how Cracker Jacks do not have good prizes anymore. All right, fair enough. Um... What did I? I played some Call of Duty. Um, not too much, though. It was a busy, busy weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did start a book. Um, oh. Reality is broken. Um, oh. Why gamers make us better and how they can change the world. Uh, by Jane McGonigal. Um, I'm about forty pages in, of uh, three hundred. So uh, it's it's really good so far, and I will review it on the site. But uh, it takes a look at um, why non-gamers are looking at gaming all wrong. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, so, yeah, it, it's definitely a, a good aspect to gaming, and uh, I should have it done by next week. I kind of want to read uh, that Ready Player One. Have you ever read that? I, ha- I own that. Oh, you own it? Yeah, Is I it haven't good? finished it yet. It's not hmm. bad. I'm going to have to pick that up, but uh, I don't read as much. Uh, my That's book like... collection, uh, to be fair, is uh, R.A. Salvatore or video game books. <laughs> I have never beaten a book. <laughs> oh, come on, Bobby. I get too uh, attached, but... and I move on to the next book <laughs> before I finish it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to finish the stories. That they're so good. All right. Sorg, what did you achieve this week? Guys, I beat Grand Theft Auto V. Yeah! It was so yeah! amazing. Yeah! At like 3 in the morning, the night of Christ- or Thanksgiving. What holiday was this? Um, I, I, I like to beat a game when I have that giant holiday, mm-hmm. you know, stretch, right? Like, like, like when I like, especially Thanksgiving. I don't know how my games are probably beat on Thanksgiving night. <laughs> so, um, other than that, a uh, little bit of motocross, what was it motocross madness? I think it is for the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one where your avatar is like riding a bike or something. I had like a half an hour before Raw, so I'm like, you know, I, I need to, you know, kind of poke around at some of these, these, uh, uh, crazy Xbox arcade games that I got from games for gold. So, um, it's weird. Like, cause like my Xbox has turned into steam where I just have a list of games I've never played. Cause I keep acquiring them. Yeah. yeah. Um, except I didn't pay for these ones. So it, it's even better and less guilt ridden. My, my so. hard drive is full of games on 360 oh, that I, I just have. How big's your drive? Uh, 120, or, I think 120 or two something. Maybe. I mean, mine's 120 and it's been full for the last yeah. couple months. I keep making sure I tack on to put the games for gold on my account, but I haven't gotten any since like, I don't know, August. So. And, and my Xbox One hard drive is 66 point some percent full already. And I just got it like uh, two weeks ago. Well, you know, <laughs> I've also been making sure I get the Xbox One ones because they're still on your account. So when yeah. I do get that Xbox One, I'm going to like have just probably like you just have a bunch yeah. of games dropping on my hard drive, uh, which will be cool. You know, uh, it'll, be, it'll be a good start. So Worms is free. Worms is free this month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Worms is free. Um, joining us once again, uh, Zach Allen. What did you achieve this week? Hey guys, thanks for having me. I am. Uh, I hope it's all right. I'm laying down on the ground. That's and fine. I've noticed everybody. Anyway, anyway, you can podcast comfortably is cool. Yeah, with yeah. Us. I'm I'm one of those ground layers, you know, like <laughs> like Thanksgiving. Uh, anytime you come over my house, you're gonna find me laying on the ground. That's what I do. You're you're laying uh, the groundwork for the podcast right now. <laughs> I don't want it to come off as a, as being lazy or lethargic or anything like that. But uh, this week I um. Uh, I didn't really achieve anything. I I, I played a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, I downloaded uh, Secret Ponchos today, and I've been playing a lot of uh, Plants for Zombies uh, Garden Warfare. Cool. And yeah. we're going to talk about Secret Ponchos later on the, in the show. Yeah, absolutely. It's a uh, it's, it's definitely a fun game, and it's something I recommend. A lot of fun to play. We'll cool. talk about it more in depth for sure. Nope, oh, I got a call. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, and I achieved this week. I'm going to let it go. It, I can't. Yeah, stop. you're you're the show host. You you got to let the call go. I can't. I can't. I can't mute myself for for a call. No, no, um, you can't. I can't stop science. I, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I achieved this week. Um, I uh, played through some of Dragon Age. Um, I downloaded uh, Madden two, uh, 2015 for uh, Xbox One. It was, I got it for like twenty six dollars. Uh, played a bit of like the tutorial mode intro thing for that, and uh, I downloaded uh, Titanfall, uh, which I I have for three sixty. I never played it. It's still in the wrapper, but it, I I downloaded it for Xbox One. You see this for, look I'm giving you, right? <laughs> You, yeah, you see I this know. look I'm giving you directly into it, and I know which camera you are actually looking through. This but look, my this, friend, this. My friend Larry, I didn't have anybody to play it with on Xbox One other than Riz, or on Xbox 360 other than Riz. And me and Riz never got around to playing it because it was like out for a while when I got it. So, but my friend Larry has it. He's he downloaded it. So and 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 it was twelve dollars for like the entire game, season pass and everything, all the maps. So, I got that going for me. So, so wait, you you have a shrink wrapped version of the game. I have, a, but you went and bought so, the digital version. Yes. How much do you want for that shrink wrapped copy of the game? I'll sell it to you. <laughs> Please. Twenty five bucks. You're the poor. You, wait so, a minute! You just paid twelve God. bucks for the <laughs> digital. Can we, can we I bought it for, this off after I, the show. <laughs> we're we're having an auction right now. Do I hear thirty? I'm, st- I'm, I'm still <laughs> wrapping my head around this whole. This whole concept you have. I know. I've, I mean, Why? I've rebought Why digital. I yell at Bobby all the time. I know. I mean, I, not that I haven't rebought games in digital, but there's something that I have a CD that's like scratched from like the late 90s that doesn't run that I can't I, install DOS anymore for. So I have a copy of uh, Kevin Smith's Tough Shit if you want that. It's still shrink wrapped. <laughs> well, I actually, uh, no, actually, I got that from the library. Yeah. So I didn't, be- I didn't beat that book yet. You didn't beat that book? Oh, you got no. the book book. <laughs> yeah, oh, I want book. audio book on that one. No, no, not audio book. The actual book book. Oh, okay. only if you read it to me, Bobby. It'll be a new uh, podcast. Does anybody have the chat up? I, I don't have the chat up right now. So I got it. I, I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> Please, let's move on. <laughs> I'm a mess tonight. <laughs> you are a mess tonight. Brother Sorg, I wonder who that is, has been continuing <laughs> his adventure. Podcast, Bobby reads us Kevin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> this, this podcast is going a whole new direction. I'm going to um, start a new podcast called Bobby Reads. Bobby Reads. you got to lay down like Zach is I'm gonna when you start, do that. It's going to be start like... With, and then, I'm going to start with Pat the Bunny, <laughs> and I'm going to work my way up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Brother Sorgs has been continuing his adventure through Fallout 3. Uh, a little Always Sometimes Monsters. That That's a game. Uh, which is an interesting little RPG about choices and their consequences. That's a, that's heavy. Uh, yeah. And currently broadcasting Minecraft through Steam for all to see and try out the new feature. Uh, check out the broadcast here. And he's got, a, he's got a link for everybody. He's trying to pe- take people away from our podcast there, oh, there no. Bobby. Do you have, I, I didn't see. Do you have the Steam broadcast in your in your lineup? No. Uh, apparently, I do not. apparently on Steam, if you apply for the beta, you can uh, watch other people playing, like your friends oh, wow. playing games. So, like if you're you're on there, you're on Steam playing. You know, if I'm on playing Arkham City and you log into Steam, um, I have and I turn it on or my beta, which I did earlier today. You can watch me play Batman Arkham City. Oh wow! So they're so, going after Twitch with that. Uh, a little bit. I don't think it's just your friends. Uh, so, but, oh, okay. and I'm hoping maybe they, eventually they will open it up to Twitch or YouTube or something like that. But it's pretty. That's that's a pretty cool uh, thing that came up today. Um, yeah. Let's see if anybody else had anything. No, there's just random videos. Um, there. Buddy Lando on Twitter said that he is uh, entering the Vault of Glass on hard mode tonight, and he said there's no turning back now. What is that? On, De- on Destiny. That's oh, okay. All, it's on Destiny. It's the uh, epic raid. That, that heart of glass. Okay. I mean, vault of vault of glass. <laughs> All right, Chachi. Do you want to? Before we go around the net, do you want to tell us about our contests we have going on? Uh, yeah. Over at uh, insertcoin dot com, we have a uh, an entry box in the post talking about the Pokemon uh, Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions. Uh, we're giving away two tickets. To paradise. Um, on for the January seventeenth show, which is the only show. Um, so we have two tickets over there. The show is selling out fast. Mm-hmm. At last noted, at last uh, contact with them, 
they had sold 70% of the show. Wow. Um, these are comp ticket, uh, media tickets. Uh, they're, they are row O. Ooh. So they're really good seats. Oh um, my gosh. You can only get them from <laughs> us and you can only get them if you go over to insert coin to begin .com and sign up. Awesome. So, uh, go do that. Yep, um, you got that. about, you can sign up every day. Go win those tickets. And it uh, counts as an entry. Um, you have 16 days left. Take your girlfriend. Take your boyfriend. Take your favorite Pokemon nurse. Right. Doesn't this, matter. Uh, you, you will not want to miss it. I've been to. I went to the Zelda one. It was incredible. Um, it is definitely worth seeing. Awesome. And of course, you got to be in Pittsburgh or be able to travel yeah. to Pittsburgh yeah, on yeah. Right. January seventeenth when this comes up. Uh, but uh, your, your Russian followers cannot uh, win. No. Well, I mean they, oh, they can. can win, they can, but, but they, they they can't. Yeah. And unless they unless they can make it in, I mean. Um, who might but yeah, seen? chances are I'm not giving them the tickets. <laughs> Throw it out there. Rusev crush. <laughs> All right, it's a different podcast, Bobby. It is now time for video game themed things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Uh, let's start with the runners up as per usual. Um, someone over at the Meta Picture put together uh, little picture slogans for video game companies, uh, mm -hmm. what they're really thinking or what they're really saying. Um, stuff like uh, Valve. Uh, we used to make games, now we make money. <laughs> um, Rockstar. Fuck you. Um, nice. Nice. Nintendo. I think I wrote that one. More money. And uh, my personal favorite, Electronic Arts, because fuck developers, fuck customers, and fuck you. I love I love uh, Ubisoft. One step forward, eight steps back. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, and, and they're all over there, and they're all entertaining. Um so you can go over to insertcoinbegin.com and take a look. Activision, Th Activision, as much money as possible for as little effort as possible. Yeah. THQ is just three dots. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, there's that one. Um, next, the other runner-up. For some reason, uh, in a game where technology is uh, the whole point, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare released Steampunk Armor. Mm -hmm. Um. The only way you can get this armor is if you rank in the top 100 of online gameplay. Wow. So chances are you're not going to get it. And I would just like to point out that if you happen if you happen to be playing multiplayer and you see this armor, run away. Just, <laughs> just, just stop, because you're not you're obviously not going to kill this guy or mm -hmm. girl, guy or girl. Um, and by the time you turn around to run away, you're going to be dead. So just so if set, you're set the gun down and walk away backwards. <laughs> so if you see if you see anybody in Call of Duty that slightly resembles a Fabergé egg, <laughs> yeah. run away. Yes, because <laughs> that that's what uh, I think Polygon called it today, or Kotaku, one of the one of the sites said. It was it was pretty pretty good. <laughs> I was it like, was that's a, that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, um, it's just something that I, I don't understand. Um. While I'm good at the game, I'll never be good enough to get it. So, all right. So uh, let's get to the uh, the Cracker Jack peanut of this uh, <laughs> prize. The prize. The prize. That's what it was. Um, so it's effective Samus Mebo mm -hmm. sold for twenty five hundred U S style dollars on eBay. That kid made a mint. Yeah, he spent thirteen dollars um, at Best Buy. Yeah, um, it turns out it was it was uh, it was a flub. Um, it had two gun arms instead of one, so he he put it on eBay and it shot up quick and sold quickly for wow. twenty five hundred dollars. Like if you're an action figure collector, you know that the like mistake figures in package are like worth a lot more than regular figures. Right. I I don't. So. I just don't understand it. I. It's it's a rarity, I guess. Maybe that's why. Well, I don't know. That kid is smart. But um, all right. So moving on. Um, someone put together a three-minute video of what happens if you run into Trevor, um, in Grand Theft Auto while not playing as Trevor. 
Oh, wow. And it turns out that he is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, even if you're run- if if because in this one it's Franklin running into Trevor. Um, the the non-player character Trevor doesn't realize or recognize the fact that it's Franklin. So he will kill you. Oh no! And yeah. if, if you fight back, um, it, it says that he, he's injured. Trevor's injured, mm-hmm. and if you hurry up and switch to him, he'll he'll be at the closest hospital to where you were. Oh wow! So it, it does pick up where where you left off. Um, as far as where he was and where you were, but yeah, he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he just starts he just starts opening up on you when you walk well, up to him. Or yeah, what? in the uh, the first scenario, you're following him on a beach, and he's getting really pissed off at the fact that you keep following him, mm-hmm. and he just turns around and headbutts you, and you're out cold. Jeez, <laughs> he's. I think his exact quote is. You're extremely close to getting molested right now. <laughs> Which is everyone in the game, according to Trevor. And it, just, right. and it just goes to wasted after one headbutt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's entertaining. And like I said, it's three minutes long, so it's definitely worth the watch. Um, <laughs> and last but not least, as you know, uh, my favorite video game series on YouTube is The Game Theorist. Mm-hmm. And... My favorite game series is Legend of Zelda. This week they covered uh, the hook shot. Cool. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the show, what they do is they take uh, video game related items and put science to it to see if it if it would actually work. Um, and in this one, they're trying to determine if the hook shot is uh, worth using. Um, and by that, they mean. Uh, if it would cause more damage to Link than it would help. Hey, listen. So uh, it, it's definitely worth checking out. It covers all of the hook shots in the game. Um, clear a little bit of time. It's about 15 minutes. Uh, definitely worth uh, worth watching if you're into learning. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Yeah, I said it. If you're into <laughs> learning, watch the video. You I'm not into learn. learning at all. If you really enjoyed Mario's Missing, and uh, watch the video. Hey, <laughs> don't don't mock Mario's Missing. All right. I'm out. <laughs> Mario Mario's <laughs> Missing is probably one of the greatest Mario games of all time. That's wow, greatest? Not, that's not an actual Mario game. Oh. So I mean, so it, and by that I mean it's better than Mario Paint. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, let's not get carried away here. Mario Paint. Had that cool mode where you can slap flies. It's better than Mario Paint. It's better than Luigi's Mansion. Um, and probably Sunshine Mario. Yeah, what? I said it. What? Come at me. What? Come at me. Uh, that's all I got for you this in this week's edition of Insert. Uh, <laughs> I, I, was too, I was too busy challenging the internet. In, uh, insert. <laughs> Insert Mario to begin. Yeah, this is the, this is all I have for you in video game theme things from around the internet. Back net, to net, you, net, net, net. <laughs> all right. Oh wow. Uh, we're gonna get, we're now we're gonna move on to the things you should be made aware of. Our top story this week. Remember last week how we said about Assassin's Creed was gonna be geared toward kids, possibly. Yes. Well, this week we learned that's not gonna be the case with the next game. <laughs> um, Assassin's Creed. It was like breaking news today. Assassin's Creed uh, is going to be. S- Set in the Victorian London time, um, the new game is Assassin's Creed Victory. Um, it is the only Assassin's Creed game that's going to be released, they said, next year. So, wow. one and done. Yeah. Um, and it is going to be Ubisoft Quebec. They're going to be handling the development of the game. Um, and in the video that was actually leaked on the internet, the, Assassin's, uh, the assassin climbs... A, a tower to get a view of the city. He descends, enters a carriage, accepts a contract to kill a man. When the carriage is attacked, the assassin battles on top of the moving vehicle, uh, and the fight makes its way to a train station where the assassin ascends to a high, high ground, swings across the station using a grappling hook, which is a new item to the Assassin's Creed series, uh, and he takes out his target. So, sounds fun. What do you guys think? Are you excited for it, or do you think this is... Too many Assassin's Creed games too soon. I don't think it's too many because they're going to do one every year regardless. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it is a different studio that's handling it. it, it yeah. So that's yeah. that's a good thing. Um, well, I, I like the timepiece too, or the, mm-hmm. the 
I like the 19th century London. I think that's yeah. gonna, that's going to be a fun playground to mess around in for sure. I wonder if the people of London are going to have French accents, <laughs> <laughs> since the people of France have English accents. Well, here, here's my two cents. All right. Okay. First off, um, to well, actually, I have I have three things to say. First off, Bobby, okay. uh, it's. It's not the accents aren't generated in the time that they are. I know, I know. It's the absurd, the accents are generated by the animus. So, yeah. um, but uh, first off, there were multiple games this year because there are multiple systems. Yeah, true. Um, so by them saying that they're going to go back to one game, most likely means that they're done uh, with the the previous gen. Yeah. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll have an Xbox One by then, so I'm not that worried. Um, Time to move on. Um, however, my the thing I'm looking forward to is the internet bitching that they haven't gone to Japan yet. Mm. Because that well, is... Uh, uh, well, wasn't there, a, wasn't there a rumor that, that they were going to go to China? No, uh, what, what everyone wanted and what the rumor was was uh, feudal Japan. Okay. And... The internet wants feudal Japan, and I just want to see the internet get a knot in their ass because <laughs> it is not in feudal Japan. I know I screwed it up. It's been a long day, so just go with what I say. Okay. That's okay. I'm sure it's going to translate in Japanese just fine. Yeah. Right. Right. They will all have um, English accents, so we'll be able to tell what they're saying. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm okay if you haven't gathered by now. I'm okay with wherever they put an Assassin's Creed game. Mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> put it on the moon. Have them have them fight the uh, the guys Ooh. from Destiny, and I'm okay. I don't think you'd be able to do the future uh, a future version of it because the mm -hmm. ancestors you know, wouldn't. Well, well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know science. Technology advances, so eventually yeah. they'll be able to go to the future. I'm a sucker for any game that has a grappling hook. Yeah, that was an interesting thing that they said about because, like, that's new for the series. But he can he can pretty much like any of the Assassin's Creed people can pretty much climb wherever they want to go, anyways. Mm -hmm. So I mean, where else is he gonna go, <laughs> or he or she gonna go? You know, with a grappling hook. But still, that's cool. And is it gonna be like the throwing kind or like Batman style? It'll be like Bionic Batman Commando. Style. Yeah. That'll be cool. All right. Our next story. Uh, do you guys remember us talking about this a couple uh, weeks ago on the show? Um, the game I Am Bread. I Am <laughs> Bread. I Am Bread. It's uh, you, you play as a, as a piece of bread. Um, it's launching for early access on Steam tomorrow, December 3rd. Um, it offers a pre-release version of the game uh, for the truly dedicated fans willing to overlook the bugs that would be removed from the final official release. Uh, Bossa Studios uh, has yet to reveal an official launch date for I Am Bread, but it's probably going to be around ten dollars. Uh, wow. So that that's that's kind of cool. Um, that's, you know, I I I'm, I want to play this game, but I don't want to admit that I've paid money for this game. <laughs> Is that weird? Um, no, yeah. Yeah, like like same thing with Ghost Simulator. Like five bucks on my iPhone was digestible to me, uh, but dropping like ten, fifteen, whatever it was on Steam was a little weird. Uh, although they got me really considering the Ghost uh, Ghost Simulator MMO that's popped up, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, first off, I would install Steam to play I Am Bread. <laughs> So I probably will. And with the new beta, yeah, you can watch I can people watch play. you right. be bread. Um, wow. Secondly, secondly, I just downloaded a game called Run and Gun None. <laughs> so we can look forward to that being reviewed next well, week. Wait, is this going to be like the? Sounds uh, great. Is this going to be like llama hat one? I I, I hope hat, not. Llamas with hats. I hope not. This game. Is I, Wait, I mean, this... seriously, the icon is a picture of a one-eyed nun carrying a sniper's rifle. Is this is this the uh, no more. nun attack run and gun? <laughs> I guess. Wow. Wait, hold on. I am installing this to my Nexus right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> I mean, how, how can you not want to install this? I didn't even look it's at the like, screenshots. It's like uh, the, the nuns from um, 
Oh, yeah, not uh, attack, run, and gun. They're on, um, they're on, on a machete. mission. <laughs> Wasn't there nuns in Machete like that? Yes. Or Hitman. Also Hitman. Uh, Hitman Ascension had, had, had ones like that. Uh, this video can't load fast enough. I think I think we should have friend of the show DJ Lunchbox play I Am Bread since he has a, a PC powerful enough to play the game like that. I and think I think he should do a review for our, our insert corn to begin friends. <laughs> oh, this video is tr- the nuns are back. I didn't know the nuns were here to begin with. <laughs> well, apparently wow. the, there's a first game called Nun Attack, <laughs> but I don't care about Nun Attack because this one is run and gun. <laughs> What have we stumbled upon? Rosie, sister of deliverance, sister of protection. <laughs> oh man, this oh, is man. Great. This is happening. Oh man, this is amazing. This is happening right now. You guys can go on with the show. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> well, Chachi, we're going to talk about another one of your favorite things here next. Um, Destiny. <laughs> They're backing Iron Destiny. Faith. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we move on I'm to sorry. Destiny? They're gift- gifted with holy power ups. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> and I need to put it away. I need to put it away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've lost control of the podcast, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. You can double jump. I'm already in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I died. Oh, my. Holy Spirit. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Uh, Destiny announced that uh, they're going to release on December 9th the first expansion, or the next expansion, uh, The Dark Below. Um, for the and and uh, for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, they're going to receive launch exclusive strike mission and exotic weapons. Ooh, exotic weapons, not erotic mm. weapons. Uh, both will be uh, PSN only through fall of 2016. Um, but the expansion is going to be for the Xbox One, 360, PS3, and PS4 on December 9th. Um, but they're just going to get exclusive things on the PS2, or PS3, and 4. Oh. Um, yeah, they're they're just gonna get Sorry. exclusive like weapons and stuff like that. Done, done. <laughs> um, the strike is a Mars mission called the Underlying Mind, set in the Black Garden uh, on Mars. Uh, players will face a timeless Vex machine beast that has survived for ages. Oh, um, so that, that that sounds pretty fun. Uh, I have to pick yeah, the Vex, back up. The Vex are uh, are fun to fight. Um, <laughs> they're not they're not too hard, and. Uh, they're robots, so you kind of kind of like that. I haven't even been on the first planet in Destiny yet. Yeah, that's because you don't beat games, Bobby. Yeah, I don't beat games or books. That werewolf <laughs> just threw a giant rock at me. Bobby's uh, really good about just playing the tutorials, I think, on games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I played the Madden tutorial almost to completion because hmm. <laughs> I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> I was like, wait, defense next? No, I, I got. I offense. actually got stuck in the tutorial for uh, the Gotham City Imposters when that downloaded on Games for Gold. Yeah, uh, and I never went back to it. <laughs> so. I played. I played. Listen to this. I played a punting tutorial on Madden 15. Why? It was really strange, <laughs> but fun. Slightly fun. All right. Um, I don't think this game is ever leaving my phone. <laughs> Oh my. Sorry, go ahead. I can't. All right, guys. Xbox Live was hacked this weekend. <laughs> oh okay. no! It was like Monday night, actually. Wasn't yeah, it? Monday night. Uh, yeah, yeah, Monday night. It's um, like I couldn't, I couldn't get which, my WWE Network after all last. It night. was hacked on my birthday, which that sucks. <laughs> so there's a thing <laughs> where you can post from non non attack, and it says to public, "Bless me, Father, for I freaking love nuns with guns." Oh jeez. <laughs> Wow. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Uh, the hacker group called L- the Lizard Squad uh, took to Twitter last night to claim that responsibility for hacking Xbox Live and taking it offline. Uh, the group describes itself as the kings of the distributed denial of service DDoS attacks. Uh, they tweeted it, that it was they were preparing for a larger scale attack on Christmas uh, over Christmas holiday for Xbox Live, which no, don't do that. Because don't be a dick, and and we want to play games over Christmas. Seriously. Uh, but, but the outage lasted for more than an hour uh, and impacted both Xbox 360 and Xbox One users. Um, and uh, Xbox Live consoles were responding with the uh, 8015109 error code uh, that warned that the uh, Xbox Live profile has failed to download. 
So that was a thing. But you know, my only concern, I, other than downtime, yeah, downtime sucks. Yeah. We have games on our systems we can play otherwise, right? Um, yeah. But I'm worried that like a hacker will delete my save games that I put up in their cloud. Yeah, like or, that's or my concern. Just use your credit card and stuff like that. Oh, I'm not worried about my credit card. I'm worried about my save <laughs> game in GTA Five I just beat because that's something yeah. I can't get refunded by the bank. True, true. But I don't, 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 don't hack, please. We, we want to play games. I'm Other sorry. Games. If your name is Broken Lizard, I don't take you seriously. <laughs> Broken Lizard is the uh, people that made Super Troopers. They're the oh, Lizard the, Squad. Oh, Lizard Squad? <laughs> yeah. yeah the Lizard I, take, squad. I take you less seriously. Um, if you're a hacking group and your name's not anonymous, then yeah, I do sure. care less what you do. True. All right. And, and, and problems for the um, the uh, Wii U also. Uh, they, uh, or they had some problems with Smash Brothers. Uh, users are experiencing an error, co- error code 160 uh, They report a number of issues ranging from data deletion, Sorg, uh, to, uh, to unplayable games. Uh, in some cases, a related error message persists. Even the, the Wii U's uh, data menu required consoles to be shipped for, to Nintendo for repair. So, yeah, that's not a good thing if it's bricking your system. Um, and they, they, they go on to say that the problem is not exclusively caused by Smash Brothers, though, uh, but previous users had experiences with Hyrule Warriors, Mario Kart 8, and other Wii U games. Um, I guess it's from a faulty flash memory chip that is uh, suspected to be at fault. Uh, and, you know, it, and, and people said it's from when you have, a, like, a, a gaming session, you shut it off and you turn it back on again, and load the game again, that's when it happens. So, yeah. So two, two, two very distinctive problems and two, two very different systems there. So did, did it say how widespread this, this one was? Um, I don't anything. know if it said if it was very widespread If it becomes like a big thing, because I mean, there's always failures when it comes to memory cards and yeah. stuff. So, I mean, that's why I put my thing on the cloud because yeah, the more places it is, the better, right? Um, yeah. like I don't trust that hard drive that's been sitting in that Xbox that I got I'm years start, ago. I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to start using the cloud. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't tr- you, you can't trust a hard drive. Right up. It's like I, everything I do everywhere gets backed up at like another place, like Google Drive, wherever. And I, I think Save Games kind of need to do the same thing. I love Steam Cloud because then I know that happens until I forget that a game isn't in Steam Cloud and I wipe a computer and I lose my GTA 4 and my uh, Arkham Asylum shit saves and my Ghostbusters save that was almost towards the end. Stuff like that. But but then again, I don't want my uh, naked save games to be exposed from the cloud. What? <laughs> like, okay. Never mind. <laughs> like the hacking thing with the iPhone. Oh. Naked photos. So. Oh. oh, you don't want them to <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence you? No. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want my save games to be exposed. So. That's weird, Bobby. And yet, and yet, I, yet, King Sony remains unmolested. Yeah, uh, on the on the mountaintop. True, true. They didn't get, but but then then again, on a couple of years ago, they were the one getting. Hacked. I'm gonna say it because like, they've they've already re re did their security yeah. from that last hack. <laughs> yeah, so, <I'm> honestly, <laughs> the, 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 the anytime Target or something gets hacked, the best time to sharp a Target is the months after they got hacked. Yeah. <laughs> because you know it's going to be the most secure thing out there. Sony is the most secure console because they got yep. torn they got, apart they, they've recently. They've been through it. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, if you had if you had a credit card uh, uh, thing with Xbox last year, this wouldn't happen. Yep. Sure. So. All right, Zach. You want to talk, talk about the secret ponchos? Yeah. I I just uh, this game came out on a uh, uh, PlayStation Plus today. Oh. Uh, so I downloaded it for. Uh, for the low, low price of free, or the uh, whatever I paid per month to uh, to get PlayStation Plus, as my son walks into my room. <laughs> hi, come say hi. Hi. You say hi. <laughs> he's he's like looking like yeah. what is what's going well, on? <laughs> no, 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 he likes he likes watching me play um uh, Plants for Zombies uh, Garden oh, Warfare. Oh. That there's a couple yeah. reasons <laughs> the, the playing the zombies really appealed to him. 
Um, yes, yeah, so I downloaded Secret of Ponchos today, and this is something I never even heard about uh, before today. And I saw that the games were being uh, uh, put on the, for the for the December uh, PlayStation Plus, and so I, I watched the trailer, and it totally blew me away. Like it's 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 it's, it's online, um, and it's a top-down view, and it's just a battle. Um, there's no story mode. There's different uh, characters you can pick from. There's like a, you know, there's like a the, the big heavy, and there's like the the range attack, and then there's a there's a melee attack. A, a character you can pick and customize, and and uh, the combat is really in depth, um, and it's totally a lot of fun. It's very addictive. So if you're out there, uh, definitely I would uh, definitely recommend picking it up and playing it because it's I've, I've played about two hours. And I just got my butt kicked for like the first oh, wow. hour and a half. You know? <laughs> yeah, I played it for straight, it, it, but but like it's so addictive, and, and you just want to get better. And, and is it is it like an indie game? I think so. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty rare for an indie game to like capture somebody like that for like an hour or two. Mm-hmm. That's good. Uh, it's uh, it, I, and I see it looks like it might be available on Steam as well. So it's on. I think it came out on Steam. I think there was an early access last year, but it was real buggy, um, and so a lot of people kind of left a bad taste in people's mouths. Uh, but now that it's out on, on consoles, uh, I, I definitely recommend checking it out for sure. Cool. Do they wear ponchos? Yes, there's there's, there's nice. a plethora of ponchos. There is no uh, shortage of ponchos <laughs> in, in Secret Ponchos. <laughs> I, it, it cool mix of characters. I had the the trailer playing for the video guys out here. Um, there's like bullfighters in this. Looks like there's like like huh. like like cavalry uh, 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 soldiers and everything. Like yeah, mix well, of there's characters. different classes, right? Yeah, and yeah. so like the the, the bullfighter is going to be like a melee because you want you want that you, you want your opponent close. Um, and there's like one on one death match. There's two on two. There's like battle royal eight on eight. You know, it's just oh, wow. uh, it's just. It, but there, the thing is, there's no. I would have liked a little. I would have liked a tutorial, uh, a story mode, something to kind of uh, get my feet wet. But but they throw you right to the wolves right away. And and and, and once you pick up the controls and the hang of and the hang of it and um, uh, basic uh, uh, gameplay and, and and defense styles, you know, it, it's a really a lot of fun for awesome. sure. Awesome. If there would have been a, if there would have been a tutorial level for that, I would get stuck on it somehow. <laughs> yeah, then you wouldn't have gotten into the meat of the game. Yeah, I wouldn't have. Like, just like with oh, I I also I also want to discuss like the Lego games, like how they're like for kids, you know. And I get stuck on the tutorial level of Lego games. <laughs> like I feel so Bob, stupid. Bobby, you have a problem. <laughs> I do, I do. I'm dumb. Um, I, I was looking up uh, uh, info on this. Um, yeah, it looks like it's an indie developer. This is by a company called Switchblade Monkeys. Uh, these guys are oh. winning my heart every time I look up more information on them, apparently. <laughs> um, and, uh, th- 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 yeah, it's available for PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Windows, obviously through the oh. Steam Store and probably some other outlets as well. So, cool. uh, and, and I think it released for both platforms today. So if you want to nice. check that out. But it, awesome. It, it looks like a fun. I, it, that looks like a lot of fun from the trailer I was watching. So, uh, Riz, is, Riz, can, Riz can get it for PS4. Yeah. What was that, Zach? It's definitely a blast to play. Awesome. It's, it out. almost reminds me of a, a little bit in the same vein as Awesome Nuts. Have you guys played Awesome Nuts? No. Uh, okay. I've heard of Awesome Nuts, but I, I never played it. Or even like a like a Smash Bros. style, where you have different yeah, characters you're... and different abilities and 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 different uh, attributes and different attacks and different defenses. Uh, it, it, it's it's a, a, in the same genre, I would say, in the same universe for sure. When you said eight on eight, it made me immediately think of the eight-player Smash Brothers thing. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a free for all, and there's different maps, and so you have to learn the maps and learn, you know, where the good places are to kind of uh, set traps and and shoot other people, and it's it's really a lot of fun. <laughs> cool. I like I like games where you can set traps for different people. That's cool. I like yeah, I like depending on who you pick. I like setting like you know landmines. In the nice hidden spot, right around the corner, have them have the have the guy come chasing you around the corner. He thinks he's gonna get you. All of a sudden, boom! It's up on your landmine. It's it's really it's one of those games where you find yourself yelling at the screen a lot. So if you like getting all intense and yelling at the screen, I definitely recommend that for you. Nice. Yeah, you can do that in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition too. You can set traps for people with magic. So it's cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, our our uh, final round question here. Um. We're going to tie in with our last story of the night. Um, 
Guys, Black Friday sales happened this weekend, and Xbox One gained a little bit of ground on the PS4. Um, uh, Xbox One sold 53% of all the consoles that were sold, uh, which they needed to do because they've been behind PlayStation 4 for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, PlayStation 4 sold 31%. The 360 came in third place on Black Friday sales with 9%. The Wii U came in fourth place with only 6%. That's got to be dis discouraging for Nintendo. What was third, the 3DS? The, 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 no, the, the third place one was the 360. Oh, the 360. Yeah. Wow. And uh, PS, wow. PS, PS3 was uh, fifth place with 1%. But, like, Wii U had, like, a lot of games come out for, for, for like, the new games like Smash Brothers and Hyrule Warriors. Like, those Mario are their big games, Mario Kart 8. And it's not selling what they wanted to sell. I mean, mm -hmm. it's disappointing, really. I mean, it, it is I, something but, to point out here. Uh, they mentioned this in the article that this is not. Um, this is based on like something about a hundred thousand info scout panelists based on receipts yeah, and, and everything. So this isn't the end all numbers, but this is a, this is uh, should be a good, it, good enough scientific sampling to see uh, how yeah, they it shows, do. It shows a trend. Yeah, it like, shows a pretty big you know. trend. Um, Xbox One obviously had the biggest price, yeah. Because it was oh, yeah, like they had the biggest three thirty for for uh, an Xbox One and, and Assassin's <laughs> Creed Unity. I think they were throwing black fat black flag in there, uh, yeah. in, in some cases yeah, as well. It, it said it said it said that um, Sony sold most of their bundles were um, GTA Five and The Last of Us bundles that were bundled together. Yeah, um, Xbox One sold Assassin's Creed Unity and Black Flag uh, bundles together, um, but Definitely, Microsoft had the biggest price decrease because um, it went from three forty nine, which was already on sale by fifty dollars, to three twenty nine. Which I wish I would have waited, but I got it anyways, so mm -hmm. I'm dumb. <laughs> so but I wasn't going out Black Friday, so you know, I right. stayed at home and I shopped virtually on Black Friday and got a game I already had. <laughs> <laughs> And Didn't that's a small victory, Bobby. <laughs> All right, but but our, our our final round question are: um, What are your thoughts on uh, these Black Friday Friday uh, polls and that? And what what do you think uh, this means going forward for each console? Do you think it helps them in the long run? Do you think it hurts other ones in the long run? I think it's what a big. I think it's a big kick in the pants for uh, Xbox One numbers. Mm -hmm. um, I think Wii U did its damage already on sales this week, this year. I I think the True. Mario Kart jump. The Smash Brothers jump. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think they have enough uh, mainstream kind of awareness and, and, that people are, are going out to get it. They're like, if you're going to get two consoles, you're probably going to get one of the big ones, either Xbox One or PS4, and you're probably going to get a Wii U because it's not as pricey, and mm -hmm. it has all the Nintendo fun games that you remember playing so as, as a kid. we're back to where we were before last generation yeah. where yeah. most of us picked one. And got a Wii. Yep. Because that's Pretty where much. the games we wanted to play were that and everything else, the good version of everything else we wanted to play, and eventually the only version of anything else we wanted to play was on one of the big two, with with and the, minor exceptions. And the Wii was collecting dust for most of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and now it's ridiculous to try to get Mario Kart for the Wii. It's I can't believe yeah. it. Um but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I think I think this is uh, Xbox showing they got a little more fire. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens with that. Uh, uh, we we has to have the mega hits or they're going nowhere. And how many of those can they sustain? Yep. Oh. I think I think DLC is going to help them in the long run too. Like with their Mario Kart DLC, they finally have DLC where they can add like Link to to, to the game, stuff like that. Somebody, so somebody needs to show me that they don't screw that up because they really screwed up multiplayer mm -hmm. when they got into it on the Wii. Yeah, and like, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I've been saying for a year now that I want a Wii U mm -hmm. uh, because all of the games that I want to play, you know, like the 3D Mario, the Mario Kart, mm -hmm. uh, all of this, the, these are games that I truly, truly, truly want to play i don't know what is holding me back from buying it though something is just preventing me it's not all the way quite there and if i could put my finger on it maybe i could work for nintendo and try to turn that system around because it's my buddy has it it's a beautiful thing man we're playing donkey kong 
uh, tropical freeze. You know, it's a ton of fun. Uh, but there's something holding me back, and, and it kind of makes me sad because these are my favorite games, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, but but I just can't bring myself around to, to, to paying. Now I saw a, a deal they had. Uh, uh, it's a Mario Kart bundle uh, for three hundred, and then you get fifty dollars back at Target. Um, oh, that's so nice. yeah, so you can get you can get and Nintendo Land too. So two games, uh, Mario Kart Eight, uh, Nintendo Land, the Wii U. Uh, off for like two fifty, um, and that's and now I'm as close as I've ever been to buying it, but I still haven't bought it yet. So I don't that was know. The biggest thing. I, mean, I don't know what that says. And, and I think. It, oh, sorry, 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 but that was the biggest thing with the Wii was I think it started at two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. So and that's mm-hmm. why I stood mm-hmm. in line and that's why it, it pushed because it was like, mm-hmm. well, I can, well, I can swing two hundred bucks. I can't swing the four hundred it was for a three sixty, but that two hundred bucks was like, yeah, sure, I can play Mario, and they had Zelda and do you right remember? off the bat. Sorry, Bob. Do you do you remember the the we had all those games in for uh, E3 a couple years ago? Like that was like the it system at E3 one year. I remember. Yeah. I remember being like, wow, I have to have a Wii. I have to have a Wii, you know. And then it's like I don't know what happened. So, I think Chachi knows the answer to why you're hesitating. Huh, Chachi. Uh, your 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 reason. Well, uh, first off, let's uh. Let's point out that this was a small sampling of 100,000. Mm, yeah, true. Um, so PlayStation 4 has already done damage. Mm-hmm. Um, they took their lead. Xbox will be behind this generation. It's just going to happen. They're uh, kind of catching up there slowly. The reason none of you have bought an OEU <laughs> yet this is, is what I want because to be. it's $300. Oh, well. Not the uh, you, <laughs> you cannot, in your right mind, go out and pay three hundred dollars for a system that has last gen graphics and no Zelda. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Where's my Zelda? <laughs> I, I, I told you, Nintendo. You give me a Zelda, I'll buy your system. And there's only five must-play games for that system. That's yeah. it. There, yep. There's, there's no need. Hey guys, I want to, but I just can't. Yeah. Splatoons or whatever isn't isn't out yet either. That looks <laughs> awesome. It does. It looks fun. And then the new Zelda Seven, like that's it. <laughs> yeah, but Bayonetta. Like, everybody's saying that's pretty good too. So maybe that date. I don't know. Yeah, couldn't get into Bayonetta last from generation though. I, I, yeah, I went them on the graphics but and I mean, stuff, and you know you're going to get nothing else because if you get. Anything that's like a cross-platform game, Assassin's Creed, something like that, you know it's the limited version. We've seen right. this with the Wii. The Madden games were always the half-assed versions of them. The wrestling games were always the half-assed versions of them. Uh, it, it just mm-hmm. across the board, they had, they tried to put Call of Duty on that Wii. Right. Ouch. You're, you're not gonna you're not gonna go out and in any right mind buy a, a new IP for. An untested system, no, or it, an unproven they got system. Murdered. You're not, you're not going out buying a Watchdogs the for thing, a Wii. Yeah, yeah. The biggest issue is they married themselves to that tablet. It's right. killed them. Yep. Whereas yeah. Xbox, they yeah. married themselves to that Connect and they severed mm-hmm. the ties. The Wii U can't do that. Too many games mm-hmm. depend on that thing now, and now you have this giant iPad replacement. Which looks bulky compared to any tablet or phone any of us are carrying around. It looks old, you know. Wii U. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, it, it just they make this tablet thing, and, and it's like it's designed. We were just talking in the last show about how the Google Glass design has not changed in three years, and that's why it looks so clunky compared to how everybody has a watch now. Uh, Chachi is the pebble. That people are yelling at him across the street for, um, whereas you know the Wii is like this tablet they made, and it wasn't sleek compared to an iPad tablet that we're used to to begin with, and it's going to look even older and older as we go. And how is this thing not sub three hundred dollars yet? I, I mean, all right, you drop you drop the Wii U. I'm going to say seventy five to one hundred dollars, and give me a Zelda game. It might be down about that far once Zelda comes out. Right, and that's that's what it'll take for me to buy it. At, at three hundred dollars, not gonna buy it. 
I I heard that the reason they can't drop the price is because it costs so much to manufacture because of that stupid pad. Yep. <laughs> right. Yep. And, and, and that makes complete sense. It's not Microsoft. No. I, I mean, if it were Microsoft, then they would drop drop it and just watch the the profits disappear and be in red because Microsoft can do that, but Nintendo can't do that. So I, I mean I think they just buried themselves with this thing. Maybe maybe like Sword said, uh, the they're, they're, Nintendo needs a backer like Disney. You know. You know I, mean, I, haven't, even, and, I haven't gone I haven't even gone through all the good games on the Wii yet. I'm just gonna start picking those up. Hey, uh, new Super mm-hmm. Mario Brothers Wii is like twenty five bucks. I think I'm gonna jump on yeah. that instead. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. Too. I can't wait in, in three years when I pick up the the Wii U for a hundred bucks and I can play all these fantastic <laughs> awesome games that nobody played. That I mean that's right. my plan. Don't forget your friend codes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in a hurry to pick up a Wii U for that exact reason. Yeah. Exactly. I, I know – I'm diehard Nintendo um, yeah. when it comes down to it. So I know eventually that system is going to find its way into my house. Mm-hmm. But not at $300 and not until Nintendo can prove to me that it's worth going out and buying, which <laughs> they've yet to do. Yep. All right, that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, a special thanks to Zach Gowan for joining us. Uh, and you can follow him on Twitter on at, at, at Zach Gowan. Uh, do you have anything to plug, Zach? I got nothing to plug, man. <laughs> what, about, what about your movie? Your documentary. Yeah. Uh, I'll plug my website, ZachGowan.com. If you want to okay. go there and check out everything I'm up to. And, uh, I, I, I'm wrestling full-time. I'm wrestling all over the country with uh, my buddy Gregory Iron. Uh, and uh, and uh, so I'm all over. Check check out the website if you want. Uh, plenty of merch on the website if you want to support. I appreciate everyone's support, and I appreciate you guys having me on here and uh, bullshitting about video games. All right, no and, problem, and, man. And, we enjoyed and, it. And by the way, congrats <laughs> on the shout out you got in the ring by the Insane Clown Posse recently. <laughs> did oh yeah yeah I did in New Jersey. They uh, after me and Greg had a match, the Insane Clown Posse hit the ring impromptu and, and grabbed the microphone and had some really kind words to say to us. Nice. Uh, it's kind of kind of a surreal moment being in the ring with the Insane Clown <laughs> Posse, but you know awesome. uh, life's funny, and uh, I'm I'm just enjoying the ride. <laughs> All right. Uh, special thanks to Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR for handling the nose and tweets all night for us. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and at InsertCoinTB, and you can visit us on InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. For at Sorgatron, at Chachi Says, I'm at Bobby FJ Town. Game over. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.